Hi you guys, welcome back. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, go back, watch it. Otherwise you'll miss the whole storyline. And it's important. This is Christmas. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is a potential Christmas Eve dinner outfit. I've gone for a, quite a smart dinner jacket ladies dinner jacket it is a 14 um, but it is it's next range for ladies with calves which are quite light so i've got the 14 but it gives you that extra room at the bust so very nice look at the sparkly legs gosh i hope you can pick that up i hope the light's picking that up it should be the boots are mine now i've had these boots forever i'm surprised i can still walk in them oh leggings i really like these <laughs> the cami top which um, i mentioned on the first video that i was not sure about because it looked quite short well actually it's not it's covering my tummy so i'm happy with that it needs an iron but it's covering my tummy so what do you think of this one christmas eve dinner in the hotel looking like this don't have a handbag. Okay, this is what I got <laughs> in handbags. Um, I've got this one, which is a Roberto Cavalli one. Um, and I'm just not fond of this big heavy gold um, chain strap. So I'm not sure, maybe. And then the only other option, which isn't really an evening bag is my leopard print. I got rid of all my stuff when we downsized. All of my millions of shoes and handbags I got rid and now I'm thinking, why? <laughs> um, and if, if I did like the leopard print, I'd kind of need to go with the flow on the leopard and I just don't think that goes with that. So I might have to go shopping for, for a black, because I do like the outfit. I might have to just go shopping for a plain little black clutch bag maybe something i can get some little purse with sequins on or something so that would finish off this outfit okay so i'm gonna keep on the sequin trousers and the boots because um, i'm feeling quite kind of sexy <laughs> um i'm gonna try something sparkly on top with it and see if i can dazzle you to death and see if it's a little bit too much or if you just go yay christmas <laughs> Okay, you ready to sparkle? This is sparkle overload. <laughs> Sequin heaven. Okay. This one. <laughs> nice blouse again is from Next. Um, the shaping isn't actually brilliant, but look at me. Look at that. Look at me sparkle. <laughs> Strictly come dancing. Yeah. Oh, just by the way, at the time of filming, Strictly's on tonight. Can't wait. I'm a massive Angela Rippon fan. Go, Angela. You see what she can do with her legs. Okay, anyway, back to the outfit. This would be a serious Christmas Eve dinner outfit. <laughs> and there's no dancing. It is just a, uh, no disco or anything like that. It's just a hotel restaurant and have a meal. So I don't know if this, you think this is just a little bit too much. Or not, it's Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna try on some plain black jeans now that I've got. Um, might look a little bit different with this and also I've got a couple of other things to try on. Is that a bit much for you? <laughs> what about this, is any better? So I've got next jeans on, high rise, super stretchy. They're actually as stretchy as jeggings. They're really, really nice, very comfy. There you go. Bum wiggle. What do you think? Is that a little bit more reasonable? Did you get over the last outfit? Was it a little bit too much? Was it? Just a smidge? Yeah. Okay, I'll go try something else on. Same jeans, same boots, just a different jacket. Hot pink. Look at this. Sparkly. Ooh. <laughs> I love the pink and I love the little button 
uh, it's a little bit tight and a little bit short it feels it does feel I could wear it open but just need I've been rummaging through my wardrobe and I haven't got really nice black cami to put under it so and this doesn't really feel right with it this silver so yeah I'd have to get another little top yeah it's a little bit tight and do you know what it's not brilliantly made either the lining doesn't quite fit the, the jacket on the inside so it feels quite crumply and there's bits that feel baggy especially here but it looks nice nice do you think comments please <laughs> what do you think I mean the colour's me isn't it, it's definitely me, if I wear this I'm definitely going to have to do my hair pink, I think I'm definitely going to do my hair pink anyway for Christmas, yeah definitely, I think. <laughs> Alright, um, next outfit, oh I'm going to need your help with this one, I've forgotten the scarves, oh, ah. back in a second, oh I'm going to need your help with this one, okay so casual outfit this is friend like friends like these top lovely soft super soft jersey stretchy jersey it's a 14 and it's oversized so you could get away with a size smaller if you don't like it quite so baggy but I do so um, I'm happy with this one same jeans black stretchy jeans oh, I've just got to show you these boots I love them Skechers Skechers go walk I've got go go mat soft cushioning sole. I'm never taking these off except for now where I'm just going to show you one of them close up. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're really light. Fairy! Fluffy! <laughs> I absolutely love them. So I'm definitely keeping those. For the Yorkshire Dales, you know with all the cobbles and everything, ooh, they can hurt. So that, they're really soft and squidgy. So I'm really pleased with these. Definitely not going back. Right, so it is going to be for Christmas. So I want every day to be absolutely perfect because we don't often go away and we're going away for three nights, three days. Um, and it's where we got married, the hotel where we got married. And I'll be showing you around or we'll share Christmas with you. So I want every day to, I want to look really, really nice and accessorise properly and all of that and the right jewellery and scarves and stuff. Uh, well, in the last video, I, I showed a coat. I'll just get it. Just get it. I do like this coat, but I ordered a size 16 and I'm going to need a 14 because it's, it's far too big. I am a little bit worried about it getting filthy with me walking in the dales with willow jumping up with the muddy paws but oh, I just like it I just like it I feel like a big soft teddy bear it's lovely it's very comfortable and warm but I thought to kick it all off a scarf so I've got some scarves and this is where I need a little bit of help with scarves because I can sometimes get this horribly wrong so I think that one's a definite no anyway. I got that from a charity shop haul. I think it was a pound or two pound or something like that. But it's, it's wrong pink. Um, even I know that. <laughs> this one, it's everything I try on. I, I try and find an outfit that this will go with. And I haven't been successful yet. And I don't know why, because it's a lovely scarf. But it just never seems to look right with anything. I don't know if it's just a little bit too bright I don't know but anyway I thought I'd give it a go and you can let me know what you think this one my stepdaughter got me this it's got lovely little pink flamingos on and it's quite a nice match with my top actually which is sort of a, a pinky peach so I like this and as it's winter it actually is a proper warm scarf so I could wear it as a scarf if I'm a bit nippy. There. Does that make all the difference? I need a fluffy hat, don't I? 
or I could just wear it loose and not strangling myself. There. There. What difference does that make? You tell me. Comments? Do you like that? Maybe. I don't know. I think I like it. I think I do. And I think it will be quite useful if it's nipping. Um, but that lastly, just a sort of fashion um, statement one. A statement? Are you with me? <laughs> um, yeah, this is just a normal, like, I just thought it'd be somewhat different in colour. A little bit of blue and pink. It's only a short one, though. So it might actually be better um, wrapped in a bow around a handbag, around my little pink handbag that I got from Grassington, which I didn't bring out again. But if you've watched both videos, then you'll see it. <laughs> so there's that one as well. I need to plan my outfits. I absolutely have to, because we won't have a lot of room. We've got you know, a case and we've got the little car. Um, so I, I absolutely must take the right thing. I can't take a ton of stuff and, and be deciding there. I'll drive myself mad. I'll drive Mike mad. I'll drive Willow mad. I'll drive the hotel staff mad. Um, so yeah, I really need your help to plan me, plan me out with some outfits. Now, I've, I've just got a pair of welly bobs to try on. There it is. <laughs> just show you one from next i actually haven't tried them on yet because we're at the dales and the hotel is right next to the river wharf and we'll be doing a river walk which we've we've already done we did in the summer and we did a video on it um, when we went to we did skipton and um and Bairnsall and and actually did the walk where we'll be staying so i need some welly bobs because it does get very wet and, and muddy and I do like these short versions. So I'll just try these on. I'll take my coat off and see what these are like. I don't want to take my sketches off though, that's the thing. How gorgeous are they? That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Oh. stand on one leg <laughs> oh dear doesn't bode well for me at my age does it can't stand on oh i'm definitely keeping these i usually manage to get some leopard print in in one of my try-ons at least at least some kind of animal print of some type oh, i like them i like them and they're glossy and i've got I do have things, it's probably the wrong kind of leopard print. Yeah, that one's more like it, but that's okay. Right, let's <laughs> try the coat on again. Am I driving you mad yet? <laughs> okay. See, even on a river walk, I want to look good. And I don't want to take a load of coats either, that's the other thing. Um, so I've got to be really careful about the coat that I choose to take. I just don't want to smell like dog biscuits, that's all, with my dog coat on, but I like that. I like that. I like those welly bobs, they're really comfortable. It's actually like walking on sponge. Ooh. Okay. I've got one final outfit to put on and it's definitely a potential for Christmas Eve dinner. Um, so it's very, um, well, I think it's very special anyway. It looked fabulous on the model, so we'll have to see what it looks like on me. <laughs> um, but your opinions on it, because this um, Christmas Eve dinner is going to be extra, extra special for us. Okay, here I go. Do you know, I'm not sure on this one. I was so looking forward to this. I always say if like a, a special outfit to last on my try-ons. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not used to wide legs. But, I mean, it's beautiful material. It's super comfy. 
So size 14 and I've plenty of room. It fastens at the side and there's there's a fair bit of gift, so three course Christmas dinner. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'd manage it. I don't know. I've got my sparkly boots on with it, so it sparkles it up. The the nearly the trousers are a little bit long, but not dragging on the floor long. And I have got my my heels on. I'd have to get a different kind of cami. Probably just get a plain black cami to go underneath. Oh, you'll have to give your opinion on this one because I really I'm really not sure. I don't know. Maybe I mean. Have I got too much high expectations for Christmas Eve because I want it to go so well? I don't know. Do you know, I'm not sure this colour suits me. I think rich, sort of autumn colours, the light minerally ones, pastel -y type of colours, they always look good on me. But I'm not sure I get, can get away with this. Um, it's almost, um, it's not rusty, but it's, it's got a bit of hint of rust to it, so it's sort of like a deep reddy colour. I like it. Um, I'm just not sure it, it looks good on me. They look great on the model. <laughs> but anyway, give me your, your opinions and your thoughts, please. This is the last one, and that's the end of my two videos. Remember, look back at the, the first one so you can see all of them. Please comment. If you're new, please like and subscribe if you like this video, I really appreciate it. And my subscribers, have I told you I love you today? <laughs> you know I do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon on the next one. Bye! Mwah.